Today we will talk about making second impression for a completely inchless tail. The tray, the special tray is made of acrylic resin. I have to check it inside the patient mouse before making the impression. For the upper impression, I have to stand behind the patient. I rotate the tray, then I insert the tray. Then for the labial border, I have to retract the lip. 45 degree and the patient close a little bit so that the vestibule and the lips are not stretched. The border of the tray should be shorter than the full depth of the vestibule, about two to three millimeters, not more than that. This is for the labial area. For the buccal area, it is a little bit difficult to check it visually. So I have to check it digitally by my finger. I have to check that there is two millimeters. Usually, don't rush to shorten the tray at the distal buccal area and the buccal area because you cannot judge it properly. Judge it during making the impression and we will see if it is long or it is properly extended. If it is overextended, the green stick compound or the impression material will fall from the tray and the border of the tray will show. We'll start by using the material green stick compound to trace the borders. Then I will take the final impression and the fine details by rubber base impression material. We can do, there is two techniques for using the green stick compound. The green stick compound is a thermoplastic material that can soften either by using the torch or using the hot water. Both techniques are right. Let me see if we use the torch. We have use the torch so that we move the green stick slowly over the torch and not to burn it. Then I will apply the green stick compound on the border of the tray. The green stick is very sticky so that always you should be wetting your fingers and your gloves otherwise it will stick to your gloves. After adapting the green stick on the border of the tray, I will go to the patient mouse and start border molding. The movement is the same, downward and inward, downward and inward, slowly, downward and inward. For the anterior part, I can work section by section. The green stick gives me time to judge and work every part alone. I remove the tray, I check the border, it should be smooth and rounded. After I finish the first part, I will go for the second section. I will show you the other part with hot water. I just insert the green stick inside the water. I never threw the compound inside the rubber bowl. I have to hold it outside then I will apply the green stick compound on the border as by the same technique as we did it with the torch. I insert the green stick inside the water to allow it to soften with me. I check that the green stick is soft. I go behind the patient. I rotate the tray, I insert the tray, and I do border molding, downward and inward. The same technique as we did it on the other side. Molding slowly. You can I'll ask the patient to suck your finger. This is the same physiological movement as I move the lip downward and inward. After that, I will remove it. I will find that the frenum, labial frenum, cut in the green stick compound. The labial vestibule shows me all small, smooth and rounded. The buccal freedom applied appears here with me. And I will advance to the other part.
every now and then I have to check that the water is still hot. If you feel the water start to cool, you get another water to work with it. I take the green stick compound while it is soft and I apply it on the border of the tray as we did before. Then I insert the part that I'm going to mold it only in the hot water, never to insert the whole tray. Otherwise, the other part that we mold it will soften again and we have to remold it again. I apply the green stick on the border of the tray. I check that the material is soft with me. I take the tray to the patient mount. I retain the tray. I insert the tray. I ask the patient to close it slightly. If he had my sin and I start to mold it downward and inward, downward and inward. I ask the patient to move his mandible from one side to another to bore to more the molding of the this tubercle area so that the cronoid will adjust the thickness of the compound at such area. And I wait until the compound is hardened. I remove the tray. The compound takes the shape of the border. It is smooth and rounded. The buckle frenum shows with me and it records the buckle part. I will shift to the other side to make the other side border more. I wait till the green stick soften with me and then I will apply it on the borders of the tray. If the water becomes a little bit cooler, I have to shift to another one. I check that the green stick is soft. I go to the patient mouse. I retake the tray, I insert the tray, I start border molding this to buckle area and buckle area downward and inward. The patient has to move his mandible from one side to another, the same as the other part. And I wait till the material hard. I remove the tray, the green stick compound is smooth and rounded, it records the this to buckle and buckle area, then I will shift for the last part which is the post dam area. The post dam area starts from one hamular notch to another, so I have to record both hamular notch then the post dam area together. I insert the green stick in the water till it softens with me. All the borders should be smooth and rounded, vertical, and the limiting structures are showing. You can see and detect the labial frenum, labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buckle area and buckle corridor, this to buckle area, and finally we will go on for the hamular notch and the post dam area or the ah line area. I get the green stick compound. In this area I will apply the green stick compound in a horizontal part to record the post dam area. I have to be sure that the green stick is soft, otherwise it will not be shaped with me. I take the green stick compound, I apply it on the tray. As you see, I apply it in horizontal part. I insert it inside the hot water.
I spread the green stick so that it will flush with the tray and to flush with the compound at the distal buccal area so that to record the hamular notch. I stand behind the patient, I receive the tray, I insert the tray. Then I ask the patient to swallow to activate the muscles of the soft palate. And I check that the compound on both areas are covering the hamular notch. I wait till the material hardens, then I break the seal and improve and remove the tray. You will find that the compound records the post dam area, the hamular notch areas, and finally I have to record the last part of the distal area at the foundation of the tuberosities. After finishing border molding, I will got the lancet to remove the excess that, that comes inside the tray. I have to remove all the excess so that there is no pressure area resulting from such excess material. I take the green stick compound, just a very small piece, and apply it on the last end of the tuberosity with the hamular notch. I softened it and apply it. I go through to the patient. I wait till the material hardens. I remove the tray. I recorded all the borders and now I have to make scrapping of the impression. I'll get my lancet and I start to remove all the excess. When scrapping, you are going to remove all the excess. You just leave the green stick on the borders of the tray. You have to be patient and take your time during removing the excess and be careful not to injure yourself. It will take from you a little bit time, but you have to remove it all from the tray. Thank you.